If you expect the worst, you will get the worst. But if you expect the best, you will get the best. Your thoughts are like a self-fulfilling prophecy, where anything that you feed your mind will seep into your subconscious and have a powerful influence over everything that you do. It's just like with manifestation, where the life you live is a reflection of everything that's already within your own mind. The problem is, if 10% of your thoughts are focused on what you want and your goals, but the other 90% are full of random fears and self-doubt and worries, then your life will reflect that. It's not just your conscious goals, but also your unconscious motivations that shape your life. Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you exactly how you can use the law of attraction and positive thinking to start living the life you truly want. Lately, I've been struggling with a lot of worry and self-doubt and generally just feeling so stressed about everything that can go wrong in my life. And this has had such a grip on me that these worries have been showing up as procrastination and self-sabotage that is affecting my life right now. So to help try and clear my head and find confidence in myself again, I've turned to one of my most cherished books, The Power of Positive Thinking. This morning, I was reading a chapter in the book about how we are responsible for our own failure and success by the thoughts we choose to entertain in our own minds. And because your thoughts have such a powerful influence over you, what you believe is what you will end up unknowingly acting out in the world. The idea is that when you expect the best, your mind will release a magnetic force which, by the law of attraction, will bring the best to you. But if you expect the worst, then the same power will reject what it is you want because you're subconsciously resisting it. If you can consistently believe in the best outcome in everything that you do, if you can really picture yourself being successful and achieving what it is you want, then this is what will over time materialize. But if this is tricky for you because you're always worried about what can go wrong and so focused on the negative, then you need to train your mind to believe, to think positively, to have faith in yourself. It's your mental pattern that determines how things turn out for you in life. So think, are your thoughts ones of fear and worry and doubt, or are they of confidence? If you find your thoughts are weighing you down and holding you back in life, then you need to create a new mental pattern, one that attracts success to you. Because if you don't, it will hold you back just that bit that's the difference between being successful or failing. So how do you change your thought patterns from expecting the best to expecting the worst? You feed it thoughts that are aligned with what you truly want. You can use affirmations for this. Decide what exactly it is you want and repeat this to yourself over and over and over again. Say it to yourself every single day, especially before going to bed, because this is when your thoughts will sink from your conscious into your subconscious mind and over time reshape your basic thought patterns. This will turn you into someone who believes in success, expects it even, and all of your actions will be in alignment with what you truly want. Change your thought patterns from fear and self-doubt into that of confidence and you'll notice that all your stress will wash away and you'll have clarity and focus to pursue the goals you really want. Expecting the best also means putting your whole heart into your goals without holding anything back. Most people fail not because they lack the ability to reach their goals, but because they hesitate to actually give it their absolute best. They don't expect to succeed, so they're afraid to give it their all. And maybe you feel this too. Maybe you're scared to give your dreams your all because you expect to fail. But this is exactly what separates those who are successful in life from those who aren't. It comes down to how much of yourself you're willing to give to your goals. Think about it. How can you expect to reach your ambitions and potentials if you hold yourself back from really trying? Whatever it is you want in life, you have to be able to give it your all and hold nothing back. And then cast away your fears and self-doubt and worries and expect nothing but the best. This is how you achieve the highest of what you're capable of, by giving it your all. Now, I know this might sound overly simplified, but it is simple. Of course, we have our reasons for holding back in life. We have our fears and doubts and limiting beliefs, and these things help keep us in a safe and familiar space. But if you want more, if you want the best, then you have to be willing to walk through those fears and give your all to the life that you really want. Nothing else really matters, and when problems come up, trust that you will be able to deal with them. Trust that you're capable of that. So how can you release these fears and doubts to be able to give what you want your all? The chapter actually has a really great example for this. It tells the story of a famous trapeze artist who's teaching his students how to perform on a high trapeze bar. 
He asks each of them to give it a try. When one of the students looks up at this high bar and is terrified, he sees a vision of himself falling to the ground and he's so scared that he's frozen in fear. He tells the instructor, I can't do it. The instructor then comes over and he puts his arm around the boy's shoulder and he says, you can do it. I'll tell you how. He then gives the boy a powerful piece of advice in overcoming his fears. He says, throw your heart over the bar and your body will follow. The heart is a symbol for creativity. You can fill it with your hopes and dreams and your vision for who you want to be and where you want to go. To throw your heart over the bar means throwing this vision over any difficulty you face because there will be difficulties along the way. You have to expect that. But whatever problem or obstacle comes up when pursuing your goals, you need to throw your vision over it and let this lead your actions. And the second part, and your body will follow, means that whatever you believe is what you will ultimately act out and materialize in the world. If you truly believe in your dreams and this vision that you have, then you can throw your heart over any obstacle and you will achieve success. Whenever you have a bar in life, which represents any kind of problem or obstacle between you and your goals, then you need to stop and visualize everything that's above the bar and nothing that's below it. Then you can throw your heart over it and let it lead the way for you to follow with your actions. And if you can really visualize this and believe in it, then you will get it. It's as simple as that. I will say it's just as important to know where you're going and where you want to be. No amount of visualization or belief will get you there otherwise. So ask yourself, what can you do best? What are your strong points? What would you want to do if anything were possible? And this is where many people fail. They don't get anywhere because they only have a hazy idea of where they want to be. No objective leads to no end. You need to get clear about your ideas and vision of where you want to be. You need to be absolutely certain about what it is you want. Only then can you throw your heart at it, expect the best, and give it your all. I want to read you a few sentences from this chapter that I think sums all this up pretty well. Expect the best at all times. Never think of the worst. Drop it out of your thoughts. Relegate it. Let there be no thought in your mind that the worst will happen. Avoid entertaining the concept of the worst, for whatever you take in your mind can grow there. Therefore, take the best into your mind, and only that. Nurture it, concentrate on it, emphasize it, and visualize it. Make it your obsession. Expect the best, and you will get it. That's something that I will definitely be repeating to myself a few times as a reminder, and I hope it can be a comfort to you too. So if you want to reach your goals, then you need to know exactly where you're going. You need to have a clear vision, and only then can you cast away your fears and self-doubt, throw your heart over any problem you encounter, and finally, expect only the best. Never let yourself think of the worst. Never even mention it. Drop it out of your mind and at least 10 times a day, affirm to yourself, I expect the best and I will attain it. This will turn your thoughts towards realizing and achieving the best and break any negative thought patterns that were holding you back. It will bring the best to you. I also really recommend reading this book for yourself. It's one of my favorite books and it's helped me get out of a really tough time in my life before. If you also feel overwhelmed and you feel overly negative and your life is a reflection of that, then this is the book for you. I will say the book's a bit preachy, but if you don't take offense to that, I think it's a great read. So I'll link the name of it in the description below. And I hope you like this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And I'll see you next week. Bye.